Isaiah chapter 65, I have let myself be inquired of, not by those who ask. I was found, not by those who sought me. I said, here I am, here I am, to a nation not calling on my name. I have held out my hands all day long to a stubborn people who walk in a way that is not good after their own thoughts. The people who provoke me continually to my face, who slaughter in gardens and burn incense on slaughter places of brick, who sit among the burial sites and spend the night in secret places, who eat flesh of pigs and the broth of unclean meat is in their pots, who say, keep to yourself, do not come near me, for I am set apart unto you. These are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that burns all day. See, it is written before me, I am not silent, but shall repay, and I shall repay into their bosom. Your crookednesses and your crookednesses of your fathers together, said Yah, who burn incense on the mountains and reproach me on the hills, and I shall measure their former work into their bosom. Thus said Yah, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one shall say, Do not destroy it, for there is blessing in it. So I do for my servant's sake, not to destroy them all. And I shall bring forth a seed from Jacob and from Yehuda in here of my mountains. My chosen ones shall inherit it, and my servants dwell there. And Sharon shall be a fold of flocks in the valley of Akor, a place for herds to lie down, for my people who have sought me. But you are those who forsake Yah, who forget my set-apart mountain, who prepare a table for Gad, and who filled a drink offering from the knee. And I shall allot you to the sword, and let you all bow down to the slaughter, because I called you and you did not answer. I spoke and you did not hear, and you did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I did not delight. Therefore thus said the master Yah, See, my servants eat, but you hunger. See, my servants drink, but you thirst. See, my servants rejoice, but you are put to shame. See, my servants sing for joy of heart, but you cry for sorrow of heart, and wail for breaking of spirit. And you shall leave your name as a curse to my chosen. For the Master Yah shall put you to death, and call his servants by another name. So that he who blesses himself in the earth does bless himself in the Elohim of truth. He who swears in the earth does swear by the Elohim of truth, because the former distresses shall be forgotten, and because they shall be hidden from my eyes. For look, I am creating new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come to heart. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For look, I create Yerushalayim a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I shall rejoice in Yerushalayim, and shall joy in my people, and let the voice of weeping no more be heard in her, nor the voice of crying. No more is an infant from there going to live but a few days, nor an old man who does not complete his days. For the youth dies one hundred years old, but the sinner being one hundred years old shall be lightly esteemed, and they shall build houses and inhabit them, and plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For the days of my people are going to be as the days of a tree, and my chosen ones outlive the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth children for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of Yah, and their offspring with them. And it shall be that before they call, I answer, and while they are still speaking, I hear. Wolf and lamb feed together, a lion eats straw as an ox, and dust is the snake's food. They shall do no evil, nor destroy in all my set-apart mountain, said Yah.